Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video. In this video, I'm going to be covering subdomain enumeration uh, with sublist, and of course, this is going to be part of uh, OSINT or passive information gathering. So again, sublist is a tool that I haven't covered, but it's really very simple to use, and you're essentially going to use uh, publicly available information or search engines and other platforms like Nencraft to uh, enumerate, uh, you know, subdomains that belong to a particular domain or a particular company. And uh, this is the GitHub repository here. And I'm just going to show you how to set it up. And again, I'll show you how to set up a sim link uh, if you want to use the tool system wide, because I don't think it comes pre installed with Kali. So, again, uh, it's a tool developed in Python, and you can use it with both uh, Python 3 and Python 2, which is great. In my case, I'm going to be using Python 3. So, make sure you have Python 3 and PIP 3 if you're using Python. Uh, so sorry if you're using Python 3. Um, so the installation is quite simple regarding the, the various dependencies required. As you can see, you have the requirements file, which will pretty much install all that you need. Um, so I'm just going to clone this repository and let me just open up a new tab here. And I'll put this in my OPT directory and let me just enlarge that. So the first thing I want to do uh, is let me just clone the repository here and um, just to make sure we have the files of uh, here so we can inspect what we need to do. So again, if we just say CD sublister and so again, we'll say pip3 install, sorry, uh, we don't uninstall. We say requirements.txt, right? And uh, it's gonna tell me that uh, the requirements are already satisfied. Excellent, so uh, I don't really don't need to perform setup and we also have the subroot, which again is used for brute forcing which we're not covering right now because we're talking about passive recon. Um, so using the sublister tool is quite simple. So again, we say sublister and we hit enter and that runs. So uh, this is within the current directory, within the sublister directory. If, uh, we can also create a sim link which will allow us to use this tool. So I'll say uh, ln and we'll say this is in the OP, OPT directory sublist and we'll say sublister.py and we'll put this in user bin or binary and we'll call it sub, uh, we'll just call it sublister like so. All right, excellent. So that means if I go into my home directory or any directory, I can launch the tool immediately. So sublister and there we are. So that works without any issue now. So again, it's a really, really simple tool to use. We also have a help menu here. That tells us we can specify the domain. We have uh, the V option for verbose. Uh, we also have output and the search engines we can use. Uh, in my case, I'll be using my own uh, domain. So again, I'll use uh, I'll use hackersploit.org. And uh, because we're not performing a brute force, the threads and uh, really not the ports will not come into play right now. So again, using it, you just type in sublister, the domain, so hackersploit. Um, Org. We can also give us some verbose output, and that again will tell us where it's getting these subdomains from, which is very helpful. We can then output the results onto, um, let's say, desktop, um, and we're going to say we'll just call it results.txt, and um, yeah, let's see what we get. So I'm just going to hit enter. So it's going to go through um baidu yahoo google all the search engines then netcraft virus total which is uh, as you know very very powerful especially for uh subdomains uh you then have threat crowd ssl search passive dns and it tells us that it's found uh, about five so you can see it also gives you the sources so forum.hackersploit.org through ssl certificates uh new.hackersploit.org i don't think i've ever set that up uh cloud i set that up once when i was testing something forum exists uh, and dev.hackersploit.org is currently inactive. But I do remember setting that up when I was uh, making some, some changes. So you, you can actually see how useful a tool like Sublister is. I haven't used dev for a long time. And of course, that's self-explanatory as to what it does. It's used for development uh, web apps that I was actually testing. So again, if we cat the results on the desktop here, and those were under results.txt. You can see it gives us the results as we wanted. These are the, the subdomains it was able to enumerate. And of course, uh, this is only as good as the results available through the search engines and through the various platforms. They're extremely powerful. Um, and uh, again, when you, you'll actually take a look at subdomain brute forcing in later videos when we take a look at active information gathering. So we'll talk about DNS interrogation. And again, we'll come back to this tool and we'll use a few others that are also quite powerful. 
Now, in regards to the other tools that you can use for passive recon, I've covered them extensively. One of them is Recon NG. As you already know, it's one of the most powerful frameworks for information gathering. And I've made two series on it, two entire series where I covered the older version, which you can still use, and the newer version, which is version 5, which I have an entire series on. So you can check that out if you're interested in passive recon. Uh, that being said, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Let me know if you have any comments or questions in the, sec in the comment section down below. And I'll be happy to answer them. And I'll be seeing you in the next video. Peace, guys.